All right, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Source Monitor to prepare your clips for editing in Timeline. All right, as always, before we start, we need to make sure that we are on the same workspace. I'm using Editing Workspace. Make sure you go to Window, Workspace, and Workspace, and Editing. Window, Workspace, and then click on Reset the Save Layout just to be sure that we are on the same page to start with. Cool. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm still using the Lesson 01 editing project file. So we are going to explore the source monitor today. Since we are using the editing workspace, the uh, source monitor is located at the left corner, upper part of the screen, which is here, source monitor. As you can see, it's blank because there's no clip was selected either in project panel or in timeline. So to be able to see details in source monitor is either we can click on the footage here. We can click on the footage. There you go. Or we can click on the footage in the timeline or clip in the timeline. There you go. Now we have details in Source Monitor. All right, now let's take a look what are the buttons we can find here in Source Monitor. So we have the marker. All right, so there's a blue playhead here at the top. Say, for example, you want this specific clip. All right, and you want to mark this just to be sure that's highlighted in that clip. We click on the marker. Boom, there is a marker here. Or there's a shortcut with that. Okay, let's control Z, command Z. And then if you want shortcut, you can use the letter M. Boom, there's the marker here, all right? And you can also move this marker if you want. You can play the playhead, you can move the playhead, and you can also move the marker. Cool. The next button that we will explore would be the uh, mark in and mark out. So the mark in, this is the, uh, this is the uh, whole clip all right say for example i just want to uh that step i just want to include this in my timeline and i don't want to include this everything all right i want to include this part i just want to include this part so i will set i will set the uh, time in or the uh, mark in on this position there and then i can set the uh, time out or the mark out in this position boom there you go now you can see if i will drag this to my timeline in this case, it's already added on the timeline. As you can see, it's changes on the timeline, right? The information that was not highlighted here already gone. And that was reflected in the timeline too, all right? So if you make changes, if you already added this on the timeline, if you make changes on the, uh, on the, uh, on the clip using the source monitor, it will also change on the timeline, all right? You can also drag this manually. You can drag this manually if you want to adjust the clip that you just want to add to your timeline okay all right cool then the next one is the uh, go to in or the shift i so if you want to move your playhead this blue playhead on specific uh specific mark in you can click on that say for example i'm just right here all right and i want to go here without dragging this blue playhead i just simply click here <laughs> boom right there so um so it's already there all right if you want to go to this one to these uh to this part without clicking without dragging this blue playhead i just click on the go to out or shift o boom it's already right there and then from there you can adjust it the way you want okay cool and also there's a uh, play the play stop toggle here or the space All right, you can't see it because it's kind of larger. So if, if you want to adjust it, you can drag this little um, scroll at the bottom so that you can see it here. You can drag it here and then you can just, uh, you can just drag this little icon to make it larger or to make it smaller. All right, it's up to you. Okay, cool. So space, bam. All right, let's take a look. What is this? The step back one frame. So if you just want to step back one frame, click on this, all right? It's uh, going backward just one frame exactly, just to be specific. And if you want to go uh, forward, you can do this too. 
a forward one frame there you go all right cool now this one what is this this is insert all right so as you can see we can prepare our clips in the source monitor before we can add it to the timeline right all right so let's try to use this insert say for example i want to insert footage here all right let's go here the girl and we want to import this foot on a girl all right uh we can click on the insert if you click on this boom it's inserted the the clip that we just selected it's inserted in the middle of the girl so as you can see the girl and the foot and then the girl again so you just inserted it this footage inserted on the girl now or this footage inserted on that clip okay now let's command z all right now let's try to go here override now to override it it will override whatever the uh, blue play had all right it will override it say for example we want to override this clip on the uh, timeline we just click on this override boom it's override it so it override the video it did not insert it just override it so the clip of the uh, of the girl was erased because because it was overrided at the top of this um uh, this girl all right so that's how you use it so let's command z to undo it just to give you um a really good example for that i'm gonna click on the uh, timeline i'm gonna click on v2 i'm gonna click on v1 all right a v th let's see what's what's gonna happen if we're gonna do this one all right so let's say i'm gonna add this all right i highlighted this v1 and then i'm gonna add this i'm gonna override it boom so as you can see it's uh, it put it at the top right because it just highlighted this v1 so you put it at the top if i highlighted this it's gonna if i add this video it's gonna put here on this uh level of the timeline all right so v1 v2 that's why it's important okay cool so command z again so you know how to use this the insert you know how to use this override now let's move on to this the uh, last one the export frame so export frame we can use this if you want to um like like do a screenshot of the video file all right say for example i'm gonna move this playhead right there okay i want to i want to have a copy of this video as a picture so to do that we're going to export a frame just a single frame and that's what it is so export a frame so we click on that it will ask for the name all right so like a picture a uh, walking picture but right now it's on the uh, format of png so these formats are for photo format jpeg open exr png uh, and so on and so forth so normally jpeg and png is the most common photo format so i can choose jpeg for smaller quality a smaller size and then once we click on ok now this one i got a copy of this as a photo so if you go to finder and we go to our uh, export folder i got here this one is a photo now as you can see this is a photo now that's why all right so i exported the video file and i i exported it as a photo all right let's close it okay now there's a bunch of uh buttons inside of the uh, source monitor but typically these are the common buttons that you could use now if you want to see more of the buttons you just click on the plus sign and then you will see everything uh, all of the buttons available all right so we have the loop playback we have uh, insert, overwrite, safe margins, export frame, closed caption display, toggle proxies, uh, toggle VR video display, and we have toggle multi-camera view. Okay, we'll try to talk this, uh, little, uh, these buttons on the later part of our course. All right, so let's cancel that. But if you want to add this, you can just drag and drop it to the uh, to this um, to this toolbar. All right if you want to add those uh, buttons in here all right so click cancel for that and now that's your source monitor let's see if I call. all right and um before you leave make sure that you click on file or save your video or save your project file all right so you make sure you're not going to lose any changes that you made or command s to have a shortcut but from my end um make some changes here so i'm gonna command c 
All right, and that's how you use your source monitor to prepare your clip for editing. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.